Hey guys! Sony cameras have long been in the limelight for all the right reasons. They are compact, lightweight, and extremely powerful. Hence, for a camera so great, it is only natural that you buy the best possible lens. There are a number of options on the market, which makes it difficult to choose the best one. In this video, we compile the list of the top 5 best lenses for Sony A6000 on the market today. Be sure to watch till the end for our best recommendation. If you want more information or updated pricing on the products mentioned here, check out the links in the description below. If you have another product you'd like us to review, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, we have the best zoom lens for Sony A6000, the Sony 18-135mm f3.5-5.6 to OSS. A zoom lens is a unique type of camera lens that offers photographers a chance to go up and beyond. It offers a very useful range of many focal lengths, all in a single lens. And this one is no different. It also allows for easy and quick reframing of the entire scene while also staying in the same position. Its pros are. It ensures greater sharpness in pictures even in low light. It provides zoom features and a very high magnification ratio. Focusing is done with no sound, offering greater comfort. The image stabilization feature provides optical and steady shots. And it comes with a seven blade circular aperture that provides a greater bokeh effect. However, it has more relative distortions than some other models and the varying focal length requires significant practice to perfect. The bottom line is, it's the best zoom lens for Sony A6000. It has a 7.5 times high magnification zoom, and it has optical steady shot image stabilization. Next, we have the best travel lens for Sony A6000, the Sony E10 to 18 mm f4 OSS. This is definitely the best travel lens. This is because it offers a compact and lightweight design which is convenient to carry on your trips. One other special feature is that it offers more details than most other products. This helps capture even the smallest details on your subject. Moreover, the minimum focal length is up to 10 millimeters, which means that you can expect the perfect focusing mechanism. Its pros are, its angle of view has a wide and diverse range. It comes with a gyro sensor for better accuracy. It allows you to get very detailed images and videos. The minimum focal length of the lens is up to 10 millimeters, and it delivers very high precision with its distance encoder mechanism. However, it does not allow for very good magnification. The distance encoder mechanism sometimes hinders the fast operation, and photography with smaller focal lengths requires more time to perfect. The bottom line is, it's the best travel lens for Sony A6000. It's a super wide-angle zoom lens, and it's ideal for mid- to high-level users. Next, we have the best for the money, the Sony E 50mm f1.8. Achieving the right amount of bokeh is every photographer's dream, and this is made possible with the Sony lens. This special feature allows you to concentrate on your subject whilst having a beautiful, blurred background. Not many lenses have this feature, as it is particularly hard to perfect. Moreover, the lens helps in creating a contrast between the subject and its background, which further assists in the creation of the bokeh effect. Its pros are, it ensures both bokeh and defocus effects. It has a lower price, which makes it the best for the money. It's both compact and lightweight, hence travel friendly. Its seven blade aperture is circular and allows for more durability. And it comes with an optical image stabilization mechanism for more stable images. However, replacements are often hard to find. It's not suitable for portrait photography, and it's less durable as compared to some other models. The bottom line is, it's the best for the money. It has stunning defocus effects, and it's easy to achieve crisp, blur-free images. Next, we have the runner-up, the Sony FE 50mm f1.8. The lens is mainly used to achieve the perfect defocusing effect in daylight photography. With its efficient design, you can rest assured that you will be able to capture every little and beautiful detail of your subject. Not only this, since it's a standard lens with the normal focal length, amateur photographers, or people who don't really have much experience, can use it to learn and excel at the art. Its 
pros are. It allows for better defocusing effects via a wide lens. Its maximum aperture allows photography even in low light. It has a compact design which makes it best for a full-time mount camera. It's made with double gauss suppression for fewer distortions. And it comes with an aspherical lens that ensures less aberration. However, zoom properties are not available. The aperture is not as wide as some other lenses, and double gauze usage adds to the higher relative weight. The bottom line is, it's ideal for full-frame E-mount cameras. It features double gauze configuration, and it has a bright f1.8 maximum aperture. Finally, we have the best overall the Sony SEL 35 f1.8 35mm f1.8. Focal lengths are really important when it comes to various uses of any lens. This unconventional lens comes with a durable optic glass, which ensures less chromatic aberration and high precision. This also ensures that your images have better contrast, resolution, and overall color. Its pros are, it comes with a wide lens for better peripheral sharpness. It ensures better contrast, thus providing clarity and bokeh. It has silent operation, which means you can enjoy photography in peace. Image stabilization ensures that images are more accurate and precise. And it has a smooth and silent speed focusing system that makes shooting movies easier. However, the lens is not zoomable. It's more expensive than some other models. And it's slightly heavier than some other models, thus hinders portability. The bottom line is, it's made to be lightweight and compact. It's silent and smooth and has high speed focusing. And it has impressive sharpness and contrast. There you have it, our top five best lenses for the Sony A6000 on the market. Check out the links in the description below for detailed information and the latest pricing. If you thought this video was helpful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. If you didn't, let me know why in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.